All right, so this one, I, I kind of flip-flopped a few times and everything like that. Not as much as I did for for the the champ division, but uh, obviously Blue Screen, he's been here in URLC, and so has Danger Taco as well. I believe he's done a prelim match. Uh, and, you know, both great players, Blue Screen, uh, you know, has been around for a while. I do want to say, you know, this weekend is Father's Day. Blue Screen being a father, I am myself a father, so I got to say a big, uh, you know, happy Father's Day to him. Um, th you know, this one is interesting. I'm going back and forth. I'm looking at it, but I do feel it will be Blue Screen that will win this one just because he he plays it more. Uh, you know, Danger Taco, he's a fantastic player, fantastic caster. I love seeing him on the broadcast. I love lurking in his stream, but he doesn't play ones enough. And I think he knows that. I thought about going to get a pine cone to see if that would help me go for, for Danger Taco, but I don't think it will. I do think the blue screen, sorry, Danger. I, I, sorry, I know, I know you would it, it, going against a fellow caster, but I gotta go with blue screen and and uh, the the boomer daddy's gonna go, gonna come out here and come out with that win. Make mine right, quick. Well, oh, I was sorry, gonna say sorry, I'm, gonna keep it, my bad. I'm gonna keep it quick here, just okay, and okay, I have to do it because ahead. mustache because mustache said that he's going against a fellow caster. I could never do that. Taco <laughs> rides in the booth with up with us, so I'm gonna ride with him on the pitch. I'm going with. I mean, listen. I was going to go with Danger Taco simply because he ate his pine cone. He's, <laughs> he, said he, he said he ate the pine cone and, and that's enough. And, you know, the that's I, I don't know. That's enough for me for the for the vote, honestly. Um, no, I do think it's going to be a very exciting matchup um, between these two wonderful players. I've watched them both play. I've been to both their streams. Um, they are fantastic. Mustache did point out that one player in particular it does play a lot more ones um but i'm i'm trusting the pine cone strat here i've got to i've got i feel i feel like i have to i feel like it's so out there we just got to go for the <laughs> pine cone strat got to do it if if yeah. date i no i don't want to i don't want to make that bad i'm just gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> keep it down i'm gonna keep it down Oh, it, man, it that's cannot... it. This way. If the pine cone strat works, I, I'm not saying I'm going to have to try it, but I, I might have to try it. <laughs> I was, I was might gonna, be considered, yep. <laughs> I was going to say, I will go hunt for a pine cone if he's able to pull this win off. But we got two of you guys going for Danger Taco. I am being the lone uh, person here on the desk going for blue screen. I saw blue screen in chat saying, hey, you know, don't vote for me casters. I don't want the caster curse. I'm sorry, blue screen. I gotta do it. I mean, I'm looking at the MMR between these two players. Uh, you're definitely the heavy favorite in this particular game mode, but you know, will that come and be presented out here on the pitch? That's you know, a question that we are getting ready to hopefully find the answer here to Folds. Yeah, this is going to be a big matchup here. Uh, you know, we'll see how much one's experience uh, or the lack of, I should say, for the Danger Taco comes into play here. But I don't know. I mean, I, I love what Blue Screen said. He's been 1v3 against Tacos before and he always wins. <laughs> but I don't know. I just feel like I feel like this might be a little bit too much for him here. He clearly prepared well for the event and only time will tell. Only time on the pitch will tell uh, what we are in store for. I'm excited to see if the Danger Taco does want to take it to the air and maybe go for some of those more mechanical plays. Uh, you know, both our competitors before this matchup did choose to stick to the ground a little bit more. And I know Blue Screen will probably want to do the same. So I'm interested to see if uh, Taco tries to meet him down on the pitch or if they, you know, they take to the skies. 49% to 51% wow. taco taking it. Wow. Unbelievable. I didn't think it'd be this close. Um, you know, maybe it will be that close on the pitch again. I, I, again, I love to lurk in taco streams. Uh, you know, I always, he, I love his banter. I love his, his charisma that he brings to the screen, whether it's on his stream or whether he's on the broadcast, he's fantastic to listen to. And I love, you know, his TikToks and stuff like that, but I have to go, you know, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the season and viewer predictions. And, you know, you said it yourself, we, we, you know, combat each other uh, on our predictions and everything like that. I've got to be a little bit more methodical. So I got to go statistically 
with the better option. And I fear, I, I feel, I'm sorry, it is blue screen. And, and I, I guess it could be proven wrong, Volts. We will see if the stats will want to line up in your favor or if they have misled you and guided you down the wrong path here. So <laughs> players are down do. to the pit. We're hanging out in the booth. Danger Taco is going to be in the orange blue screen. We'll be in the blue appropriately and we are underway. Game number one of another best of three in our grand champ division. Oh. <laughs> the bump coming out. Look at that. So, you know, last series we saw Bubba Stu and Danny Kins and, you know, the da the corners are dangerous. Blue screen expecting he's got to just get the save and Taco saying no. Get off the pitch. I need this goal. Early one for him. Yeah, just go straight through blue screen there, go erasing him from the pitch. And it's hard to play defense when you are not even on the pitch. Car parts everywhere. 1-0 lead and blue screen. Making the arrow here does have good control, good shadow from Danger Taco, and Blue Screen left his car in a really good spot for that challenge. Danger Taco's fast. He is all over Blue Screen right now, and it's a good little chip over here. Going to force Blue Screen to retreat. Good early challenge, though, and back and forth in the midfield we go here, and no wanted to bump a tip, kept him grounded, and almost got a Goomba stomp of sorts there, Mustache. He wanted to. He was looking for him, you could tell, but Danger Taco just kind of stopped in his tracks. He does get a favorable bounce. Oh. He's not going to be able to recover, though. It bounced a little bit further. Did bounce center, but not able to get to the ball. It allows Blue Screen to kind of regain control. He goes for a flick. We saw how perfect those were in the last series. Not quite in favor here for Blue Screen. And Blue Screen cutting the wrong way off of the backboard and post it goes and Blue Screen getting a lucky break. Danger Taco not able to come out with the accuracy needed on that one. He's just going to go for the bump. Gets it, but now a quick save and that's going to be unfortunate for Blue Screen. You could see Danger Taco trying to bait out Blue Screen into doing something. He hit him with not one, but two fake challenges. And by that time, Blue Screen was just too close to the net. There he can't keep that ball below the crossbar despite finding the bump. And well, Danger Taco is going to be able to walk that in the other direction. Two goal lead in favor and the fake kickoff coming out from Taco as he's going to go for that corner boost. Blue Screen picking up the midfield. Right now, the pace of the game in favor of Danger Taco. He's going to take it all the way to the corner. Got control of it. Blue Screen just trying to see what he can do up in shadow defense. Going to be able to get a quick turn. Can't do much with it. This is where the methodical play comes out. And Danger Taco with a quick challenge. Going to at least take the possession away. Give him some time. Blue Screen taken off the pitch for his efforts. And that allows Danger Taco to set up, see what he can do. The mind games right now are prevalent, and Danger Taco is getting the best of blue screen as of right now. But I mean, things can definitely change. It's only a two goal lead here. We got three minutes of play left. Danger Taco going to try to recover here. He knows he's not getting back to this one. Blue screen will put away his first, and he's on the board. Yeah, and you know, Taco, he's got the two goal lead, so he's allowed to give this one away you know again that may be the wrong choice of words but he tries to get the challenge not able to recover knows hey i'm not going to get to it i just have to let him get this one and see if i can't just get something off the kickoff and like so he does he takes it to the corner can he come around for the doomsie might have the opportunity blue screen is there to get the save so close just took a little bit too much time to set that one up Ta uh, taco going to take it to the corner this blue screen's got control and oh. gets it by Taco, and that one's just going to roll in. Hey, the slow goals will work. Blue screen tying us up. Yeah, he just snuck it past him here. And a little, you know, I don't think blue screen uh, wanted Danger Taco to know that he had about 15 in the tank, and a quick turn and pop will get the job done there. Taco just let that one get a little bit too far away from him, handed it right back to blue screen. I know we wanted to bait out a challenge there, but you have to keep it close to you just like that. That is a great response from Danger Tacos. We are now under the halfway point. Yeah, you definitely, uh, when you have a goal roll by like that, you definitely want to put the momentum back in your favor. Good kickoff to come out from Danger Taco. Easy goal for himself, and now he's got the lead back. If now that halfway point, we see the exact same thing happen for Blue Screen, and just like that, a flip of a switch, we're all tied up yet again, Volts. We're going back and forth here, Mustache, as expected, because again, 
we, we knew Blue Screen had the more uh, the more time and grind in a ones, and then we also knew that Danger Taco is capable of great things, especially, I mean, he has grinded some other game modes, almost a 1900 peak in threes. So he is uh, he is getting up there in that rank. I believe he was just four. No, he actually all peaked all the way at 1921, and that's goal number four. And so Mustache, while he might not play a lot of ones, when you get up in that upper echelon and into that SSL range of other game modes, you face a lot of people that are talented and speedy here. And, he, and on that one, he's just faster than blue screen. Right. I mean, you know, ones is definitely a good game mode to to learn what mistakes you have, see if you can't can't, can't correct them because obviously there's nobody else to blame but yourself. But you're right. When you're in those, you know, higher ranks and twos and threes, you are bound to pick up certain things. And obviously, you can't allow, or you can't say that those don't mean anything here. Even in a ones and a good bump, but it doesn't work. Blue screen able to recover. He's got control. Can he get this by? Just not in the nick of time. Taco on the transition. Gonna send this all the way down. And good awareness from Taco to get the speedy recovery and get the goal. Oh, and what a recovery attempt by Blue Screen. Squishy's out of net, uses the flip. I mean, that's as fast as he could get back and just not fast enough there. So Danger Taco with now a two goal lead. He's definitely gotta be liking where he's sitting and Blue Screen trying to bury this bottom right. It'll kick straight up there. Brutal bounce for Blue Screen. Here is now Danger Taco with a lot of time and space. Blue Screen quickly closing down. We'll see the 50 go straight up. Ooh, Danger Taco, half flip challenge here. It's about as neutral as can be, and he'll also lose the corner boost here. So a good little mental battle and 50 battle won by Blue Screen, but he just handed it back to Taco, but the demo from behind, a little back check action there. Yeah, he needed to get that demo. That was going to be a goal for Danger Taco. You can't allow these to go in. Ooh. and. Taco just not really in the right position, his car, you know, facing away from the ball and good goal from Blue Screen. But yeah, Taco throw the, uh, the OMG up after the demo. But yeah, Blue Screen, he had to take him off the pitch. Otherwise, that was going to kind of snowball away from him. And then a great textbook hook shot there from Blue Screen will get him within one. He also wins mid off a of bump here. Danger Taco will bait out this one into the corner and Quick little pop here, low boost, but he's got at least a little bit of possession. Mid just spawned, but instead he'll elect to pop this one. High force blue screen up, who just burned all his boost, and now the low boost situation for blue screen. And oh, but that's not gonna work out. You can't allow that to bounce center. And luckily for Taco, blue screen not able to put too much uh, accuracy behind that as it went to the opposite corner. So that gave Taco the ability to to make the play and this one could be a good transition for blue screen he's just got to put some power behind he had no boost and that bounce didn't help and taco able to get the save so yet another break for taco as he's able to dodge anything that really blue screen is throwing at the net and just good defensive uh -oh. plays to come out from taco that could have been game there but instead blue screen gonna have one more attacking opportunity back to his own corner he goes bold challenge by Taco on the wall. Now Blue Screen has to get it done on zero seconds. Taco half flip challenge with a big pop and heel. Uh -oh. Ooh, just let it drop there. I thought it originally caught ground, but either way, it will go final. GG's in game number one. Danger Taco takes it. Yes, and then, you know, looking at the score line, I do feel like Danger Taco did have a little bit of, you know, a little bit more control in this particular game than Blue Screen. I feel like there were a few mistakes that Blue Screen made, not saying that Taco didn't make, you know, some as well, but I feel like there were a lot more errors. And as you kind of look at the stats, you can kind of see, you know, unforced errors coming out uh, from Taco and Blue Screen. One for Blue Screen, two for Taco. 60% kickoff advantage is another thing that I feel like Taco was doing a little bit better on. He was able to kind of control, uh, you know, how each kind of volley worked out between the two of them. And and the game was close, the Volts, but uh, Blue Screen going to have to, you know, kind of work on that accuracy as a few shots I definitely feel like he needed to get in just weren't quite on target. Yeah, he got some unfortunate bounces as well, but he also made a couple really good saves on the back end that come from 
his time spent playing ones. They're shots you don't normally see in other game modes, but you see a lot in one. So he's able to keep it manageable despite, as you said, not scoring some offensive opportunities that we know he's capable of putting in. So as we move back down, the pine cone has got Danger Taco game number one. I wonder if he ate another one between games. I guess we'll find out if he wins game number two here. But from Beckwith Park, it's time to answer uh, some of the more interesting questions here at the URLC. I'm going to have to ask him, uh, what's the recipe for a good pine cone? Does, it, does he smoke it on a grill? What, what's, what, what is the key to the pine, pine cone uh, dessert, if you will? And Taco going to put one in right off the kickoff yet again. Four seconds in, and we see this first one on the board. Again. I mean, just, just muscles through blue screen there. Apparently, it's like eating your Wheaties mustache, except uh, you're eating uh, you're eating pine cones. It just gives you that drink food. So this one in the corner, blue screen. Gonna wait for it. Taco actually gonna come in, and that bounce not gonna be what Taco Ooh. wanted to see. And there you have it, blue screen able to put the tying goal in, and we are definitely quite a, a game on our hands. Taco just not able to get the clear wanted. That's a great shot there. Friendly bounce, and you know, we talked about it. Uh, Blue Screen didn't get some of the friendly bounces in game number one, and now here in game number two, he gets a very friendly bounce. Oh, and another great kickoff. We said that uh, Taco had 60% kickoff advantage in game number one. Right now, granted, we're only a, you know, a handful of seconds here into game number two. We're already at 66% kickoff advantage for game number two in favor of Blue Screen, so make sure... Uh, if you're taco or a taco fan, you've got to you got to watch those kickoffs blue screen, making sure that he can just score a bunch. And that is just an early challenge that taco didn't expect blue screen to gain control. Yeah, blue screen immediately goes over. He takes it slow through mid boost and just chips it right over danger taco there. I mean, mustache, if you're going to get that close, I feel like you have to challenge if you're danger taco. Oh, yeah. And he just got caught off guard and blue screen again coming out with a good kickoff over here in the corner. Taco gonna have to re recover quickly. The the de or I'm sorry, Doomsy rather trying to come out and he wasn't able to really put this one on target. But a good challenge to come out from blue screen, stuck in the corner, can't gain oh. control. All of that time, the few seconds allows Danger Taco to come in, make the play off the backboard. Blue screen can't do nothing with it because he's low boost, and Taco regains control. But pressure still there from blue screen and he's taking the boost yet away from taco those that starvation might be a key to victory here the blue screen's going to try and tie up this series we just dropped this one down and taco can't quite take advantage here as he'll possess this one all the way to his own back wall big pop off he'll elect not to go for it and Instead, let the boost uh, boost wars begin. Good correction here on an awkward bounce. Danger Taco faking the flip reset. Goes low, and that's a beautiful fake, and that will afford him goal number two. That is great control to come out from Taco. I love the mechanics here. He's able to drop that one down. Blue screen has to make the play, thinking that is going to be a flip reset, or somewhere in the middle of the goal. The fact that Taco left that onto the ground works out perfectly. The fake kickoff coming out yet again from Taco. He used it last time to gain control. He's going to use it again this time. He's got the angle, puts it in the back of the net, and we're all tied up. That is one way to uh, deal with someone who definitely ha has your number on kickoff, I'll say, because Blue Screen is getting the best of Danger Taco when they meet at midfield. But when you're doing something like this, it affords you early possession. It affords you a good challenge. And so far, two for two on capitalizing. Oh, but there's one kickoff that... Blue screen's not gonna allow get by that uh, kickoff advantage that we've been referring to here in game number two. Again, back in favor for blue screen as he puts this easy one in. Yeah, fantastic delayed kickoff there. He intentionally goes super slow there, so he is second to that ball, and he's just able to control where the 50 goes, and it's straight into the back of the net. So that's a great kickoff strategy. He went with the speed flip one there, and Danger Taco got the best of him, but he can't quite put it away. Was thinking about looking for a demo instead it's a doomsday attempt taco can't quite get it in and blue screen great control and save the flicks towards danger tacos net and he'll put it away it's five to three wow i really thought taco had the number there on blue screen blue screen able to get like a little almost tornado spin able to hold off in the net didn't even allow it to cross the line and then just able to get 
one more touch on that ball to get the speed needed before Taco, you know, try to take blue screen off the pitch and another kickoff in favor, but Taco able to get the bump is going to give him time to regain himself over here in his own corner and blue screen's just gonna have to shadow. Taco tries to get this one by, but it stalls in the midfield. A couple of Taco's touches have been just a little bit too heavy and it's really allowed blue screen to get the 50 that he's looking for, not just a 50, the 50 that he really wants to take. It's affording him a lot of friendly bounces. And speaking of bounces, I mean, this one pops right off the wall back in front of Taco, and he just chips it over blue screen. Yeah, and I don't think blue screen thought he was going to be able to get that kind of power. I mean, he was almost stopped. And even though it's a 32 mile per hour goal, that had a lot more oomph behind it than I think blue screen was anticipating. And so a good play to come out from Taco. He puts himself back within one. This one stalls over to the side. Taco pops it. Over to midfield where Blue Screen, Blue Screen was ready and waiting and goes off of the crossbar and not able to get the dunk or pop in. And that gives Taco the ability to get around. Some good car control. We're all tied up yet again. Yeah, he just caught Blue Screen uh, uh, flat tired, we'll say, right there. You can see Blue Screen break his momentum and he comes to a complete stop, albeit short. And there was just enough for what Danger Taco needed. Just that, that perfect control to be able to cut in like that causes Blue Screen to basically stall all of his momentum and, like you said, able to really get control. And Taco coming in with that early challenge. Now we see Blue Screen trying to launch it down. Taco is trying to get that, that clear out to the corner and still... Oh! Blue screen caught flat-footed yet again. He doesn't have the boost. Taco putting that on the far side. And Taco's going to take the lead at the two-minute mark. Yeah, it's just a little awkward break of his momentum there. He doesn't quite land how he wants to. You can see in the flip that he just turned a little bit back into the right rather than keeping his momentum going back towards his own net. And again, I mean, we're, we're at the level mustache to where when you break your momentum and your opponent's speed flipping, uh, it creates a very large gap between you and them. Right, and he was low boost anyway, so the fact that he, you know, wasn't able to get the power slide, and this one's just going to be another easy one for Taco to put in. So now a three, oh, I'm sorry, two goal lead rather, in favor of Taco. This one, Blue Screen's going to have to go back to those kickoffs if he's going to try and get a uh, quick goal to see what he can do and, and, you know, decrease this lead. Otherwise, Taco's really starting to feel good. He's got a minute 48 left on the clock. Still a lot of time here in this particular game, but Blue Screen's gonna need something quick, something to answer back with what Danger Taco's putting out here on the pitch. Danger Taco gonna pop this one up. He faked the flip reset the first time. He's going for the flip reset this time. Didn't quite get it, and that's a great save from Blue Screen, who's gonna try to connect on the other end, and he will. And that is a great job. Great defense to offense there from Blue Screen. That's a great answer back. That's what we were talking about, Blue Screen. Just good wherewithal, knowing how Danger Taco is going to try to play that game or play that ball. And just Blue Screen able to get one goal that he needs. He's going to have to try and get another one and almost able to do so. He had 24 after the ball bounced and Taco able to throw himself in front. But the Doomsy potential is there, not going to be there now. So he's just gonna have to slow play. Gets it in front of the goal. Can he put this in? And a great power slide to cut that one in. We're all tied up. Good patience by Blue Screen there. Waits for the 50. Again, the 50 he's looking for. He knows he's got Taco a little bit awkward facing his own net. And it's a great job preserving his boost. Puts it right into the back of the net. And we are all tied at seven mustache. Fresh game with 118 left. The race to the midfield boost goes. Danger Taco elects not to go for it. He says, I'm going to just see if I can't put this on target and see if I can't get it over. Not able to. Doomsy, not going to be there. And Taco's going to just go for the corner, see if he can't reset himself yet again. Good challenge come out from Blue Screen around the corner. Not going to be fast enough. The power slide coming out. Now Blue Screen's going to have to go a little bit wide, see what he can do on this challenge. But Paco just trying to keep him away. And now nothing left in the tank for Blue Screen. With nothing in the tank, it's going to give Danger Taco a lot of space. Good control, checking where his opponent is. Took the 50. It's a unfriendly bounce for Danger Taco. And then a great double jump touch there from Blue Screen. He'll find yet another touch. And, and that has to be frustrating for Danger Taco here. But Blue Screen didn't find any pads. He'll use 12 to clear it. And the defense holds strong mustaches. We're under 30 left. Right. And this is the make or break for Blue Screen. Remember, he's got to be able 
to get this goal, or he's got to be able to take this win, rather, if he wants this to go to a game number three. That uh -oh. is not what you want to see, and Ooh. Blue Screen able to recover, but he used a good amount of boost to do it. So now seven seconds, Danger Taco's got control, but Blue Screen able to at least get the save. He's not going to be able to do much with it with 13 in the tank. He's just got to let it drop and go to overtime. That was some sketchy defense there, Mustache, but you can't question the results. No goal for Danger Taco. Blue Screen makes it play. We're into overtime here of game number two. And while wow. we were in overtime, and now we're straight out of it. Danger Taco with the challenge. It's straight into the back of the net, and he takes the series two to nothing. Right. I thought, uh, I really thought Blue Screen was actually going to go for a power hit there. Instead, he elects to go for the dribble, and Taco reads it perfectly. And because of it, able to come out with the win in game two and the series win. So a big GG to Danger Taco to take down Blue Screen. Blue Screen tried, he tried to keep it close and both games were just a one goal deficit. And that's all it needed for Taco to win it. So back and forth as well. Blue Screen with the major kickoff advantage in game number two, but again, the Danger Taco able to overcome that deficit, mixed in some fake challenges, mixed in some fake kickoffs and He's able to pull it out in overtime. Yeah, that's, that was a thrilling matchup to say the least. Taco's hopping in here in chat. I know you guys are all seeing him there. He says his, his floor is a puddle. Yeah, that was a, a sweat fest to say the least. I mean, both players playing their hearts out to see what they could do out there on the pitch. And uh, Taco just coming out on top and proving me wrong. I should have gone with the pine cone. So I'm glad I didn't make the, the bet that I was thinking about saying. But uh, nevertheless, <laughs> apparently pine cones are the answers, ladies and gentlemen. Kids, go out there, go find a pine tree and, and see what you can pull off to see if you can propel yourself throughout your Rocket League uh, career. But uh, I was proven wrong. So now we got to allow you and now Top Gun to say why it was the right prediction to go with the top of Top Gun. I mean, I'm just going to say that I've gotten both the predictions. I, it's, you know, it's honestly been a few events since I've, like, you know, I think in previous events, um, at least more recent ones, I have not been doing too hot on the prediction side of things, but this event's looking pretty good for me. And I know that I'm ahead and I'm just, I'm just increasing the lead. You know, just continuously bring, bring in the wins, bring in the wins. Um, I did vote for Danger Taco. We did believe in the pine cone, and lots of you in chat also believed in the pine cone strat here um, today. And you guys have the opportunity to win a $50 Amazon card for believing in the pine cone. So. Here is Synamic D's prize winner.